This is Sriheri from Cisco Wireless HTTS team. Today, I will demonstrate how to efficiently automate the load balancing of the access point across WNCD instances based on the RF. The RF based automatic load balancing feature improves upon the existing site tag based load balancing feature and it aims to reduce the manual effort of creating multiple site tag to load balance the APs across WNCD, which will help increase the stability of the WLC. Prerequisites You will need one of the following WLC. Cisco Physical Appliance WLC C9840 or C9880, Cisco Virtual WLC C9800 CL medium or large scale deployment. Ensure your WLC is running iOS XC version 1712 or higher. For best results, this feature should be activated in a stable network environment where all the APs are fully deployed and had enough time to discover all RF neighbors. For this demonstration, I will be using Virtual WLC C9800 CL medium scale with three WNCDs. One of the key process in wireless controller is wireless network control daemon, which is also called as WNCD. Depending on the 9800 platform you are using, you might see one or more instance of this process. You can refer to the table on the screen to understand the number of WNCD instance for the respective WLC platform. The WNCD process manages AP session. The cap app control tunnel from AP terminates at the WNCD. Similarly, all sessions from wireless client associated with the AP resides on the WNCD are managed by the same WNCD. An AP session remains tied to its WNCD until the cap up session terminates. Wireless client session, however, can roam between WNCDs as clients move from one AP to another. Currently, the Cisco 9800 platform uses the site tag as an indicator of AP proximity, assigning all APs within the same site tag to a single WNCD. This approach, however, can lead to uneven distribution. Some site tag might have many APs mapped to them, while others have only a few. This imbalance can cause high memory and high CPU usage on certain WNCD instance. Let's see some of the use cases of the auto load balancing feature. This feature allows using a single site tag for all deployed APs. This feature provides better load balancing for the APs across WNCD instance when more number of APs are attached to the name site tag than the available capacity of the WNCD in the controller. This feature is suitable for the large number of client inter WNCD roaming scenario. This feature supports AP in local mode and flex connect mode. In this demonstration, I am using WLC version 17.12.3. As you can see, this WLC has three WNCDs. Currently, there are six APs connected to the WLC, all managed by WNCD0, resulting in WNCD0 handling all the load. To address this issue, Cisco has introduced a new feature that automatically load balances the AP across the WNCD based on their RF network. The RF based automatic AP load balancing feature leverages RRM neighbor reports to form AP group and distribute them evenly across WNCD instances. When enabled, this feature creates cluster based on the RSSI from AP neighbor report. The cluster are further divided into smaller sub neighborhoods, which are then evenly assigned to different WNCD processes. Let's understand some of the notable restrictions before we enable this feature. It is not recommended to enable this feature when the overall load on the system is high. Hence, we have to plan a maintenance window to enable this feature. Some APs might reset the cap app to move to a different WNCD, hence change window is recommended. The command show wireless load balance tag affinity is not supported with this feature enabled. No action is needed if existing deployment doesn't exhibit any issue with CPU load despite of unbalanced WNCD load. Let's enable the RF based AP load balancing feature by creating a new AP calendar profile and setting the load balancing method as RF. We have defined the load balancing method. Now let's apply the selected load balance method. We will get a confirmation prompt and you can press the enter key to confirm. Now you can see that two neighborhood area has been created for the same site tag and managed by different WNCD. Since this is a lab environment, the APs are positioned close together. So most of the APs are part of same neighborhood. However, in production environment, the AP load distribution would be more evenly spread across different WNCD. Thank you.